Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel, and on the tabletop right now is Chomp. Uh, this is a game from All Play Games. I want to thank them for sending over a copy. Uh, this is back in the day when the dinosaurs ruled the land. And of course, we want to make sure all our dinos are well fed. And we're going to do that through this really cool uh, tile tile placement game. Um, this is actually their uh, cards, but they're big 4x4 four four cards. And you'll notice that on one side is the landscape, and the other side is the goal. Now, in the solo game, which I'm playing today, you're going to start with two goals and one landscape. And then you're going to uh, draw from uh, the market here and then place them um, to score the most points um, that you can. Now, on your turn, it's very simple. Just like the multiplayer game, you're going to either take a land tile or a goal tile. Now, this is the stack here, so these three are, are available. And right now, let's take a look at what I have that I'm starting with. Uh, two points per fed herd adjacent to a nest with an egg. So there are some nests uh, here, like this one here. That's a nest uh, that is empty right now until you place a card on, that t on a subsequent turn with an egg, and then you will take one of the egg tokens to fill it. But we'll talk about more of that as we go along. This goal here is two points per large herbivore in your largest fed herbivore herd. Okay, so I will start my uh, game here with by taking, let's see, I'm going to take, now there's a, a carnivore and there's the herbivore. The herb, herbivores want to be adjacent to uh, plants like this because they'll feed off the plants. And then herbivore, or carnivores want to be next to these here which are um, the meat that they'll eat, these little uh, smaller animals. Now, if they are not next to one, they will actually, they can feed off uh, either the same size or smaller herbivore that's uh, adjacent to them. So got to keep an eye out on those carnivores, right? That's, um, that's what they do. Uh, so let's see, I've got this one here. I've got a large uh, herbivore. And again, I'm looking at this herbivore here. I want to get a, a, a herd, a continuous herd, but we don't have a large herbivore yet. Uh, on on deck here. So what else can I do? I can get um, two points per fed herd adjacent to a nest with an egg. So here's um, one with uh, a nest. And so I could do it like this. I can place uh, this one here. So, or actually like this. So they would be adjacent to this nest. All I have to do is fill it with an egg. And it's also being fed by this um, uh, plant, uh, these plants right here. You'll notice on some of them, the mountain ranges, that's going to affect adja adjacency. So this one is not adjacent to that dino right there, so we'll not dine on it. So I'm going to go like this, and hopefully we'll draw another large um, herbivore. And now, over here, you're going to flip this over, and you're going to replace this market with that. Okay, so in the solo game, uh, you get nine turns. So um, that was the first turn. I've got eight more turns to go. And let's see. I want to get a fed herd next to this um, one here. Now you notice here as well, uh, this is a tar pit. If you have dinosaurs next to that, um, it's going to go extinct. Now I should note this. You'll notice how I place this adjacent. You can do that, or you can um, cover a quarter of it or a half of it, or the entire card. Uh, if you're familiar with Namalia, uh, that's another great tile um, uh, laying game where you can cover parts, also Sprawlopolis does it. The only restriction is when you have a large animal like that, you can't um, cover like half of it, okay? You have to leave it open. So I could do this, totally cover it, but I could not do this where it's just a quarter of it or half of it. So here's a, a large dino. And you talked about her, herds in this one. A herd is a group of similar shaped um, types of dinosaurs that are adjacent to each other. So this would not be a herd. Uh, we have a medium and a large carnivore, likewise a medium and a large herbivore. So you want the same types um, next to each other. For instance, oh, actually there is no instance in here, but I'm gonna get this because, no, I don't want that because it has an extinct thing. Where's one with an egg? Oh, you know what? Maybe I do want it because it does have an egg. So I could do something like this or, but here's the thing, friends. This is where it gets tricky. That ex, um, The tar pit's going to cause anything that's adjacent to it to go extinct and you will not score points at the end. And that's what these extinct um, tokens are for. But for now, I can do this, okay, or do this, or we can go up over here. Okay, or we could even go like this. I can cover this up like this. Um, 
because then this dinosaur would feed on that meat and there's an egg there so i'm going to place that there so i can place an egg boom so sec uh two points per uh fed herd adjacent to a nest with an egg that's going to get me two points there all right so that's my second turn i'm going to continue now this gets flipped over and then this one goes over here now remember i'm just taking land tiles right now and sending it up to see you know what i can score at any point, I could also choose one of the gold tiles here. The only thing that's different is if I take this, I'm going to get rid of the landscape one as well. So refill t um, two things here. Okay, so um, two points for small, two points uh, if you have the most fed carnivores. Now, uh, in the solo game, uh, there are some cards marked here, special solo rules. So in this one... Eight points if you, have the, if you have the most fed carnivores. So it doesn't matter what size your carnivores are. They could be medium, large, or small. As long as you have the most, you will get eight points. In the solo game, it says here you have to have at least five fed carnivores. So right now it would be two uh, that I have. Well, one's fed, one is unfed. So maybe I don't want that yet. But if I do take this here, this is interesting. Now I've got one, two... And then these are a herd because of the same size, the same type, and it's being fed here. Uh, it is not being fed here because, remember, the mountain range blocks that off. So very interesting. But I do have an egg here, so that might be cool. Now another thing I could do, I could go up here. Again, you can uh, rotate tiles as you want. I could go here, okay, and then that's also uh, a herd and it's still being fed by this one, all right? But then this uh, nest doesn't come into play. Actually, it wouldn't come into play here because this one is blocked off. But I think I can do... I'll do this, and then we'll cover that later, hopefully. So that's that. And this flips over. Ooh, there's a large uh, herbivore with an egg. I think we're doing that, folks. So again, I could cover this up here, but then I lose that medium dinosaur. By covering that up, I have this here. And let's see. I could get that egg there so i get double points there um or go here okay and this this so as long as the herd one of them is adjacent to the um food source then they're all fed so the large the large is fed by this plant here so that might be a cool way to do it but i sort of like getting rid of this one here uh, no actually if we could get some here some mediums they could go be fed by this one here I don't know. What do you think? So, and then it would be adjacent to this egg. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to go here, take an egg. That goes there. So, if I can get another medium here to be fed, then it'll be adjacent there. And then this one here, one, two, and they're adjacent there. All right, cool. So, that one. Ooh, another large herbivore. Um, and this is interesting. This uh, goal one. Two points per nest adjacent to at least one other nest. So that's where you want nests next to each other. But again, I'm looking at this one here because I can extend this um, herbivore. Okay, so I can go like that. Uh, you cannot tuck under. You could only place above. So maybe I do this. And uh, here's the problem. If I do this one, then these are connected. But this one here... Oh, you know what? They won't They won't feast on them. And they have to be equal size or smaller. They, they can't eat a big di a dinosaur bigger than them. Okay. And we do have another uh, empty nest here. So if we get another egg one, but, oh, we're going to score a bunch of points. So at the end of the game, also, not only are you scoring goals, but uh, you're going to score your herds as well. Uh, here's the thing. You have goals, and then for every large um, herd, your largest herd, that or each herd that has a large animal or dinosaur will get three points uh, per um, thing. So this would be three, six, nine. Then you have medium, small, and then every egg on the um, board will be two points. All right, I'll put that back. And uh, so I've done that. Go in here. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. So I've got four more turns. Um, it is 12 uh, turns total, so like our 12 cards total. So you'll, have, you'll be drawing, uh, you start with three, drawing um, nine. Oh boy, what am I going to do, friends? I think, I mean, I want to cover up this because then if I cover up this uh, tar pit, then these won't go extinct and they'll still be fed by here. So maybe, is there anything with an egg? There is something with an egg, but darn it, it has another uh, tar pit. But if I rotate it like this, that tar pit will only make this one extinct. Okay, so these will be okay. So we'll do that. And it has an egg on it. And that egg goes here. All right. 
So now I've got three turns left. This goes here. Let's see if we have any new goals that we can do. Uh, let's see, two points per plant in your largest group of connected plants. So I don't have any connected, connected plants. Those are small herbivores, don't have that. This is two points per species of fed dinosaur in your land. Ooh. Okay, so I do have each species there. But you know what, this one, I, I've been wanting to get this one scored somehow with this one perhaps? Or do I cover it? I, I don't want to cover it yet. Or maybe I do. Um, let's see. Maybe this small one. This one's not good. This one needs plants next to it. And, oh, this would be cool. So this one could be plants. Oh, no. If we do, if we cover this up with that. No. What about this plant? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> That's an empty nest, not a uh, food source. This one is a food source for the little carnivores, but I'm trying to feed two and one. And I wanted to use this because it has plants and it has meat, but the mountain range is going to block it off, uh, this mountain range here. This would have been nice, okay? But maybe I will do that, and hopefully we can feed this one with a different plant source. Because I want to cover up that tar pit, because then that would make that extinct. And here's the thing. Not only do I cover that tar pit, but now the little carnivores are getting fed for more points. Okay, this comes out. This goes here. Got two turns left. Now, this is interesting. You could actually get a bunch of points for every extinct dinosaur. Remember, any dinosaur that's not fed is going to go extinct. Like this one right here, the small carnivore. It's not feeding on anything at, uh, before the uh, when during scoring. I just put that token there. That means it's extinct. That goal would give me um, a one point per, which is sort of nice. This one might be a good one. Two points per species of fed dinosaur in your land. So I have one species here that's fed. I have one species there. That's four points. Yeah, you know, I'll do that. I'm going to take another goal card. And again, because I did that, I get rid, I discard this landscape card. And then we draw, flip over, and there's that. Oh, this one's two points per large carnivore in your largest fed carnivore horde. I have one carnivore herd right there. That would be four points. That might be cool because I'm also getting that there. Okay. Or do I want to, okay, let's see. Do I need to, no, I don't have to cover anything up. Okay, so I'm going to do that for my final turn. Uh, that's going to be another scoring card. So I'll put these all here. I got four scoring cards and I score as normal here. Uh, let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, the game is over. Pretty quick game, right, friends? So we go to scoring now. I'm going to get the score sheet here. And um, just as a reminder, uh, these are the scoring uh, things here. Game end feeding. So first you take the tar pits. Any tar pits? No. Remember, I covered that. So yay, cool. Uh, then you, carnivores are going to eat. Carnivores eat any smaller or same size um, herbivore, or they feed on meat. So let's take a look here. Let's go. Let me get some extinct tokens. Okay, the small carnivores are going to feed off that meat. The large carnivore, carnivore herd is going to feed off this meat. This carnivore does not have any meat to eat, so it's extinct. Uh, this uh, carnivore has no meat source, and it's way smaller than the herbivore, so that goes extinct. Uh, let's look at our herbivores now. This herbivore could not get to this plant because it's blocked by the mountain range. It goes extinct. Uh, oh, likewise, this uh, herbivore, uh, carnivore does not have any meat source, and then this uh, medium or small herbivore doesn't have a plant source. Uh, continue on here. I think everything else is fed. Okay, cool. So let's look at how many points we have. Um, we'll start with our large... Oh, this one doesn't feed off anything as well. Darn it. Because it's next to an egg, not, nothing else. And this uh, mountain range blocks off... The mountain range here blocks off the um, plant source. Okay, large one. So these this herd here is fed by this one here. Remember, this mountain range blocks off that meat but this one is connected there so three points per that's six and then this one one two three connected to this plant that is nine so 15 points total for the large 
Uh, medium-sized ones, this one's extinct. I think all the mediums went extinct. They did. Okay, so zero for that. And then one point for every small. We do have a small um, uh, carnivore being uh, eating the meat there, so one point there. And then two points per egg. Two, four, six. Okay, now our goal cards. Let's take a look at this. Two points for species of fed dinosaur in your land. So I have this species of carnivores and uh, the um, large carnivores and the large um, uh, herbivores. <laughs> it's for four points. And then we have two points per fed horde herd adjacent to a nest with an egg. So this uh, herd is adjacent is fed adjacent to this egg. It's also adjacent to this egg here. Okay, so that's four points. Is that how I score it? Oh shoot, now I'm not sure. Uh, so I can definitely get two here. And then these um, carnivores are not next to an egg. Darn it, this egg here is blocked off by a mountain range. So it says two points per fed herd. Here's a fed herd adjacent to a nest egg. Okay, it's, I would just say it's one, so plus two. And then this large herbivore in your largest fed herbivore herd. So this is my largest one, two, four, six. Okay. And finally, this last one, two points for large herb a carnivore in your largest fed carnivore herd. And that's four points there. So let's add these up. Uh, six, 12, 16 uh, for this goal here. This is uh, the goal cards. And then just add your total. So I've got 15, 16 uh, plus uh, six is um, 22 uh, plus 16, 38. And then you just go to the solo rules. Uh, it's a separate sheet here. And 38, hey, 36 are over. I'm the absolute chomper. Chomper. Get it, friends? Chomper. <laughs> Want to thank Allplay for sending over uh, the copy of uh, Chomp. And I hope you had fun with it. I enjoy it. Uh, it's a quick, light game. And, um, you know, next time on Tabletop Tonight, we'll have more quick, light games. Take care. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.